If you are a trend follower like me, catching a false breakout can send shivers down your spine. The Kaufman efficiency ratio lets you quantify the amount of noise in a market, helping you focus on the smoothest trends. Let's talk about using the efficiency ratio to improve your trend following performance. The Kaufman efficiency ratio was developed by Perry Kaufman and was introduced in his excellent book, Trading Systems and Methods. The efficiency ratio quantifies the amount of market noise. Noise is the random and erratic price movement that surrounds any underlying market direction. The efficiency ratio is calculated as the absolute net change in price divided by the absolute sum of the individual price changes over that period. Closing prices are used. Let's do a sample calculation for a 5 period efficiency ratio. For each candle, we first calculate the price change from the previous close. Then we take the net change over the look back period and divide that by the sum of the individual price changes, giving us an efficiency ratio of 0.15 in this case. Your efficiency ratio look back period should be equal to the longest run of consecutive upward or downward price changes. So for example, if your market has a maximum of 10 consecutive upward closes, use a look back period of 10. Like most indicators, the efficiency ratio is shown as a rolling average. Here's how the ratio looks like in MT4. The efficiency ratio oscillates between 0 and 1. Smooth trending markets typically have ratios closer to 1, while choppy range-bound markets have ratios closer to 0. Since the efficiency ratio can help us detect smooth trending markets, let's use it as an entry filter for a trend-following strategy. We will only enter the market when the ratio is high, but how high should it be in order for entries to be allowed? If you want to do your own research, you can analyze your market's historical efficiency ratio values to find out what is considered an average value. Then select a threshold value depending on how strict you want your entry filter to be. I find that a threshold value of 0.75 tends to cut off at least 70-80% to of trades, which is way too much for me. So let's just use a threshold value of 0.5. To test out this entry filter, let's add it to a basic trend following strategy. This strategy here places a buy stop when price closes above the upper Bollinger Band, with a 150 pip stop loss and trailing stop completing the strategy logic. Backtesting on the 30 minute pound yen for 10 years shows surprisingly good results. Can the efficiency ratio improve on this? Let's program it in as shown with a look back period of 15. Now let's rerun the backtest. The equity curve is now more consistent, with fewer deep drawdowns. Profit factor and return over maximum drawdown have increased to 1.37 and 9.25 respectively. Number of trades has fallen 16%, which is not too bad. But wait, the win rate actually dropped from 41 to 39%. Usually you expect entry filters to improve your win rate. Let's examine the backtest metrics to find out what happened. Here are some observations. The improvement in return over maximum drawdown was due to a reduction in maximum drawdown. Net profits were similar. The largest win and largest loss over the 10 years remained the same. The payout ratio, which is the average win over the average loss, increased from 1.8 to 2.1. This was because the average win increased and the average loss decreased. The net result is that expectancy increased from $15 to $18. That's why net profit stayed similar despite losing 16% of trades. Based on these findings, I reasoned that the efficiency ratio helped focus on longer term trends that showed strong momentum at the start. Riding these long trends helped boost the overall expectancy, even though the win rate actually dropped. So the Kaufman efficiency ratio provides a simple method to quantify a market's noise helping you gauge how smoothly prices are moving from one level to another. You can improve your trend following performance by using it in the manner described above, or if mean reversion is your thing, you can instead allow entries when the ratio is below a certain level. Don't forget to like and subscribe and stay tuned for more trading strategies.